Hi everyone, it's Ray Link2. In this clip, PolySign CEO Jack McDonald reveals a possible exit for the Link2 portfolio company. Jack mentions that a tuck-in acquisition by a bank could quite possibly be on the roadmap for PolySign. What makes this idea more attractive and quite possibly a reality is the fact that PolySign's business model mirrors that of traditional asset servicing firms, which includes services typically provided by the largest financial institutions in the world, like BlackRock, Vanguard, Fidelity, State Street, BNY Mellon, Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan, and many anymore. A tuck-in acquisition is often referred to as a bolt-on acquisition. It's a type of acquisition in which the acquiring company merges the acquired company into a division of the acquiring entity. This technique is often used when the acquiring company wishes to obtain an advantage, but at a lower cost than it would be required to implement the changes on its own. A successful tuck-in acquisition can increase revenues and broaden the acquiring company's capabilities and resources. Listen to PolySign CEO Jack McDonald yourself. And when you're finished, head on over to link com to sign up, download our app, and invest in the link to portfolio company, PolySign. Thanks for tuning in. Our vice chairman, uh, Tim Keeney, used to run all asset servicing at BNY Mellon. So he and I have shared this vision of where the business would ultimately go. It happened quicker than we thought because of the opportunity to acquire MG Stover. The client's segments are the same. So the idea is to cross sell custody to the fund administration clients, sell fund administration to the custody clients. And what we can do with the data behind the scenes in terms of reconciling data, pricing uh, positions, reporting, et cetera, really starts to have some powerful synergies uh, when you put those businesses together. And so we're quite excited uh, about that business. It's been six months. We did a capital raise in the middle of last year, brought in some great investors uh, to lead that round and uh, to acquire that business. And we're very excited about partnering those businesses going forward. You know, skipping ahead, we're all investors and, you know, part of investing is exiting. And I do think about that. Um, my job as a CEO is to grow a business uh, that will ultimately result in an exit of some sort that can take many shapes and sizes. But one of the strategic thesis that we had in acquiring the MG Stover business is it makes it more attractive ultimately on the exit because it mirrors this business model uh, that the traditional asset servicing firms have and could be a tuck in acquisition for one of those types of banks you know down the road when we're ready to get to that to that point